भवतु सहबीर तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तु मावितवहि शांति 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 हरिओं श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरिओं गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरुर्देव नम ओं भूर्भुव स्व तत्सितुवरेण्यं भगो देवस्यतीमहि यो यो नाम प्रचोदयात् ओम शांति 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 ओम त्वमेव माता च पिता त्वमेव त्वमेव बन्धु च सखा त्वमेव त्वमेव विद्या द्रवणं त्वमेव so umaji before you start can i just share something with you because sure. we're in the mandir mm-hmm. on friday for the fourth year in a row we had um, la hoya country day students seventh graders come to the mandir 100 of them came wow so this is the fourth year i'm able to do that so in my email i told glenda their vice principal i told her have the children on a cue card write down what they know about hinduism uh-huh. just words five mm-hmm. or six they were looking into each others trying to find ki usne agar five bole to maine six likhne hain and when i asked this thing they were reciting shanti om wow. gayatri mantra <laughs> so these sort of things the cue cards and then i put stickers on that for them and then i had a big box of bindis so all boys girls they knew tilak they knew chakras they knew bindi they knew wow. third eye incredible lot because of indian we, kids may not know they would not but this was because they were challenging each yes, other and yeah. we've been talking about this so i give cue cards with these words and then tell them whenever you feel like it find out the meanings i'm not going to tell you i made those cue cards and gifted it so um gave everybody a coconut to take so, wow that's so sweet yeah, yeah so this is fourth year in a running wow, wow. so i'm thinking later on when they are older you know it will never know yeah. be beneficial at least they know something about us yes yes definitely oh, yes. thank you that's all i had to say very nice yeah you saw that on the facebook you oh yes that. i did put it on facebook, facebook too saw, yeah so nice. glen i have been writing to pave unified school district san diego school district the encinitas nobody even responds no but i think slowly and surely that is happened so char saal se ho raha hai and bishops is the only one they're communicating with me and saying sounds interesting um bishops school bishops wow yeah so lahoya and bishops are uh, in uh, competition with each other yeah. so i wrote a big thing saying how well the students were behave from lahoya country day and how they are <laughs> imparting wow. this knowledge and better for the community in so now bishops is waking up and wants to participate yeah, i think our grandson is just, bishop oh he's at bishops yeah. okay oh yeah. interesting yeah our children went to bishop yeah i i played on the rivalry between the two schools okay. so i thought that will get them going <laughs> sorry okay so where we are we are on chapter 6 as everybody remembers so this is a chapter on meditation and it's almost coming to a conclusion now aap page bata de ha So it is one twenty-seven. This book, everybody may be different, but I'll be going to do verse forty-four. But just to tie up with previous verses, we are at a stage where he's Arjun had a doubt that okay, somebody is going on this yoga path, and what if suddenly he has some temptation and bhatak jai wo path se? That's one scenario. And secondly, is is striving so hard and then he all of a sudden death comes and takes him away what happens to him does he get destroyed and then you were no, it's okay <laughs> but i just wanted to bring that one thing up just okay. we are not going to discuss too much detail but in the whole bhagavad gita there are two things he constantly mentions that's why i wanted to bring that up one is getting the other and one is in between wala because the whole throughout that theme is there that you know that uh, if you 
just go for worldly things, then you get one kind of result. And if you go for the highest, and he always encourages Arjun to go for the highest. So this theme is not only in this chapter, but throughout. I throughout. think it's seventh myth of Bahati Kira. Yeah, so, so that's why they, that is the right attitude yeah. uh, in those verses also. Mm -hmm. That one is that person who is just doing you know, rituals and all to gain material gain, and he will get material gain. If you do it everything correctly, strive uh, in that way, and then you will get swarg bhok ke tum vapis sum kuch aana padega dharti pe. But then if you want the highest, then you don't worry about this material thing and you keep striving. And so I just wanted to bring that up. And I think you, looks like you've already done your... Yeah, I uh, went back to Yeah, yeah. so I just wanted to say it. that yes. so that we can move forward. And then um, the previous verse, he said, uh, one of them, the, the one who is like striving to get the highest, he gets united with the knowledge acquired in his... Four, I'm reading the 43 yeah. just to connect it to what we want to do today. So so 43, the English translation, he, there he comes to be united with the knowledge acquired in his former body and strives more than before for perfection, O son of gurus. So basically he's saying that in spiritual world, wherever you leave off, that's where you start. And we all kind of identify with that. So let's do the verse. Prayatna Tyatamanastu. Prayatna Tyatamanastu. Where are you? 44, right? 44. Yes. My fault, 44. Yeah. Sorry, I went on 45. Yeah. Purva Bhyasena Taineva. Purva Bhyasena Taineva. Priyate Vyavashopi Saha, Priyate Vyavashopi Saha, Jigna Surapi Yogasya, Jigna Surapi Yogasya, Shabda Brahmati Vartate, Shabda Brahmati Vartate. Purva Bhyasen is former practice, Tena by that, Eva readily, Priyate is born, he is indeed. Avashaha, helpless. Api, even. Sa, is he. Jignasu, he who wishes to know yoga. Api, even. Yogasya, of yoga. Shabda Brahma, word Brahman. Ativartate, goes beyond. Okay. By the very form. I'm sorry, I was just waiting for this question. By yes. that very formal yes. practice, he is born yes. on, in He's spite of himself. Even he who merrily wishes to know yoga goes beyond the Sabar Brahma. Shabda Brahman. Shabda Brahman. Shabda Brahman. Yes. Okay. Um, can I just write that down? Yeah, sure. At any given moment, our bank balance can only be the balance of our credit and debit shown in our statement of accounts. No banker can give us more, nor can he cheat us with a smaller amount. Almost in the same fashion, in the cultural growth of a given mind and intellect, no god can either take away any of or give some more, but can only hand over to each one of us our own exact balance. What a nice explanation right mm -hmm. each life has a logical continuity with its own past as strictly as we experience in the day-to-day -day life that the today is but an extension of the yesterday with the full understanding of this law of life in our mind if we are to reread the stanza it becomes quite clear so now everybody understood, so simple, yeah. right? Hmm. That whatever we have done, that's what we are going to get. Right. So if we think that, oh, suddenly by, you know, kisi ke grace se say something will fall, it's our misunderstanding. If, unless we put effort, yes, grace comes if we put effort. Because God helps those who help themselves, just remember that. Yes. Okay. An individual who has been in yoga in his past life will be, by that very form of practice, born on, in spite of himself. So by that very former practice, born on in spite of himself. 
This is true even in our life here. An educated man, in spite of himself, will be carried away in his behavior and conversation to exhibit his cultivated mental and physical habits. No cultured man can successfully imitate an idiot for a long time. So too, no rascal can with profit act the part of a noble for any length of time. Both will sooner or later be compelled, in spite of themselves, to exhibit unconsciously their true nature through their words, ideas and actions. So in spite of itself means helplessly basically, that's, that's the translation. So basically they are saying that whatever your nature is, वो बाहर निकल ही आएगा तुम कितना भी उसको प्रिटेंड करने की कोशिश करो छुपाने की कोशिश करो एंड इन सम टाइम यू सी चिल्ड्रन यू नो पेरेंट्स आर पुशिंग देम इन वन डायरेक्शन एंड एंड वट एवर देर बेसिक नेचर इट जस्ट फूट फूट के बाहर आएगा वो यू नो सो दैट्स वॉट ही इज जस्ट सेंग एंड हियर ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्परिचुअल डेवलपमेंट पार्ट ऑफ इट बट ओवरऑल ऑल्सो दैट्स ट्रू यू नो इवन जब पांडव वेंट फॉर ज्ञात वास वन ईयर Mm-hmm. somebody was acting as a wrestler somebody was this uh-huh. well, ultimately they came out <laughs> yes. they had to they <laughs> right. couldn't control so or fir unhone job bhi kuch waisa hi liya ho ki bhai that they can somehow similar jaise arjun ko shrap mila tha ki ye he will be turned into this yeah, so he was teaching so, so dance yeah he started yeah. teaching yeah we know all that story so that's true so basically we all know and then right. once it's something like once i know how to read abhi mere ko koi bole tu anpad ban ja not okay. possible so it's for this similarly a man who had in the past lived the life of self control <coughs> study and practice gathers unto himself those cultural traits so exactly what you just said mm-hmm. he in this life in spite of himself and in spite of all his adverse circumstances environment and conditions of life cannot but instinctively come to exhibit in his attitudes to life and in his behavior towards the things and beings in the world a tranquility and balance which in most cases is a surprise even to himself so now yeah we can identify with that right that koi bhi circumstances ho when you see this people who have gained uh, spiritual heights unka agar aap life dekho to it is all varied some were born in the palace some were born as beggars some were born in some jula i mean there in india mein to there is like a huge variety so koi bolega ki oh circumstances have to be conducive ji hmm. and krishna wants to know tumne agar kuch kiya hai pichle janam mein to wo kahin se bhi phoot ke bahar aayega that's what he's saying basically so then that means we should not be a slave to our circumstances if i want to do something i should not use that as an, as an excuse Excuses. that's what it is that's an other way of looking at it this is not a mere theory the truth of the statement is amply evident everywhere in any society in all strata of its life in all its professions and in all the departments of its activities each one of us has an instinctive bent of mind and we are irresistibly drawn towards it in spite of ourselves this pull is most powerful when they are arising from our essential evolutionary tendencies you want to explain or? yeah the evolutionary trend- tendencies are the ones like he said ki if you have done this spiritual sadhana that's what he's talking about evolutionary tendencies that's what it means over here because when we talk about humans uh you know as far as our body and all it it we know that we have the intellect the highest thing so what is left now is that spiritual evolution i mean they, that's what they say the human birth is for that purpose because we we get carried away and we think if we have to achieve something in the world and nobody saying don't achieve in the world but that's actually the secondary uh, goal human goal is you know to to go spiritually to rise that's what he's talking about that tendency even a bandit chieftain can overnight turn himself to be a determined seeker and er long be- long become the first great poet of the land as valmiki did in the past everybody knows valmiki ki story mm-hmm. right yeah. that that mm-hmm. uh, he was actually a bandit matlab yeah. dakhu tha yeah. and he was killing people and then then people say hey suddenly how did he change it, it is not a sudden thing he had done a previous sadhana just so. but now here then when she started it went like a rocket upwards yes 
and then we know the other stories are because I made some the Prahlad and Dhruv ki story bhi waisi hai. Mm-hmm. Prahlad was born in a, a Asur family, yeah, yeah. but from the very beginning he has exhibited, you know, the what those thing. And then we have Buddha who was born yeah. in the palace, mm-hmm. and they got, the father gave him every luxury. Kisi ne matlab ye bhi bola ki father nahi chata tha ki wo koi death vagara ko dekhe. To wo उन्होंने बोला था कि पत्ते जब गिरे ना उसको भी झाड़ के हटा दो कि ताकि वो पत्ते गिरते हुए भी नहीं देखे वो मतलब कितना एक्सट्रीम उसको लाइक रखना चाहता था वो एंड देन व्हेन ही वंस ही गोज आउट एंड बूम ऑल हिज दोस एवोल्यूशनरी थिंग केम आउट हंड्रेड्स ऑफ सच एग्जांपल्स कैन बी नोटेड इन आवर रीसेंट हिस्ट्री एंड इवन अमिड्स अस टुडे in all those cases the only satisfactory explanation will be that the individual mind and intellect is expressing through its given physical structure its own characteristics tendencies which it has acquired by itself in its past incarnations though its own willful actions performed and deliberate motives entertained so i think swami ji has really yeah. explained yeah. it very well and i was thinking of uh, vivekanand ji also yeah in the beginning he looked like a spoiled teenager but uh, you know his guru knew who he was and he said i was waiting for you the moment he came the first time when an individual who has fallen yogi in the past is reborn in spite of himself he is drawn towards a life of meditation and quietude a life of seeking and striving a life of self control and discipline may he be put on the throne of a kingdom or in the bustle of a marketplace or in the ignominy of the gutters he cannot but express his nobility of heart and the philo- philosophical bent of his mind all the wealth of the world commanded unquestioned might and power gained love or respect given cannot persuade him away from his divine path and if the wo- whole world stand surprised at this peculiar tendencies he cannot at any time say that he is not himself one of those who is gazing on with the wildest surprise and the uttermost amazement by that previous practice alone is he born in spite of himself so again he kind of said that no matter where he is we already discussed he could be in a palace in the gutter whatever and then even the whole world of the wealth and the famous stories of nachiketa if you heard the nachiketa story right i have the uh, nachiketa yeah in katopanishad where this uh, little boy you know he uske father ne usko bola ki gusse mein aake ek din bol ja go to hell kind of thing you know mm. i give you to death i won't go in the detail of the story then he goes to <laughs> death and he says uh, you know give me that i want to know that final knowledge you know what happens after death uh, you know how do you get this uh, immortality mm-hmm. so the unhone the death ne usko bola ki tu sab kuch mang le mujhse usko bahut prolobhan prolobhan diya ki main ye le le wo le le uh, women uh, you know raj le le sab kuch and he kept saying no no i want that mm-hmm. because the, all this is temporary all this is temporary so that's the basic story so so it's like no matter nothing so any buddha is another one huh? did he get the knowledge of course what he wanted 100% because wo he said you are the fit student because usko dekh test kar raha tha na wo he that's that so but usne matlab apne father ko bhi there's a long story one day we will go into it but um, and the buddha is the same thing he he had kingdom he had everything uh, and he had a wife he had a child everything but his vairagya was so strong that nothing stopped him So that's what Swami is pointing out, and I was thinking on Meera Bai too. Mm-hmm. She was a princess, and once उसको वो लगन लग गई वो तो सड़क पे जाके उसने नाचना शुरू कर दिया. She didn't care, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. So Kuma, just one second. Mm-hmm. Can you explain uh, being born in spite of himself का क्या मतलब है? Helplessly, like that they're just because the board over here. They is, don't want to be to born. This, no, no, no. मतलब uh-huh. no. मैं नई भी चाहूं तो हाँ। वो फुट फुट के मेरा नेचर बाहर आएगा अच्छा उस तरीके से उस तरीके से बिकॉज द वर्ड ओवर हियर इज सेस टू अर्जुन इवन इफ यू डोंट वांट टू फाइट योर नेचर विल मेक यू फाइट दैट्स अनदर वे ऑफ लुकिंग एट इट 
अवशाह इज द वर्ड ओके इफ यू नो लिटिल बिट ऑफ हिंदी वश करना बोलते हैं ना जिसको अवशाह मेरे वश में नहीं Say that again. Avasha uh, is the is the Sanskrit word in that uh, verse, and it, and the it's other like translation out of, out of your control. Out of your control. Just yeah. like uh, even when Arjun is Brihanlala, he is when the opportunity comes, he fights. <laughs> yes, you, know, you can say he that. can't control yeah. his uh, so that, real that, nature. Yeah. To understand okay. that word, that's correct. In this context, okay. he was talking about because you miss so many classes. What it is is that Arjun was asking him. Uh, that will make it more clear that why Krishna Bhagwan is talking about this. Arjun was asking him that look, you telling me to do all these things. ठीक है मैं ये पाथ पे चलना शुरू करता हूँ काफी मुश्किल है हम लोग को दुनिया छोड़ के यहाँ पर चलना काफी तपस करना पड़ता है pain होएगा तो बोला अगर मैं जा रहा हूँ इस पाथ पे और suddenly एक कोई और temptation आया तो और मैं नीचे evolutionary मतलब जो भी हुआ गिरा या death comes on the way तो मेरा क्या सारा waste हो जाएगा क्या तो उन्होंने कहा कि पहले तो उन्होंने अश्योरेंस दिया कि बिल्कुल वेस्ट नहीं होगा जो भी तुम करोगे वो दूसरा जन्म होगा ना तुम्हारा तो वहाँ से तुम वहीं से शुरू करोगे जैसे कि जो बाकी एजुकेशन है ना हमको किंडरगार्डन से शुरू करना पड़ता है सब जीरो सब जीरो तो पर को पंद्रह साल वो सब कुछ करना पड़ेगा लेकिन जो स्पिरिचुअल चीजें हैं तो हम लोग देखते हैं ना कि लगा यंग पीपल सडनली ब्लूम बिकॉज उन्होंने पिछले जन्म में किया होता है सो देन क्या होता है वो सारा नॉलेज बहुत जल्दी तुमको आ जाता है रोटी सब्जी ही विल जस्ट ईट फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल्स एंड द फैमिली वॉज वेरी सिक एंड टायर्ड बिकॉज इन विलेज इट्स वेरी हार्ड टू फाइंड फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल्स and it's very expensive also uh -huh. but he won't eat so he must be something in his last incarnation yeah. 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 and no, no, it yeah, came to true, my mind true. now when i go next time i'll find out what he is doing now but i never heard of anything later it's a very vast subject yeah. but what context he's telling over here mm -hmm. is you know the spiritual sadhana that you do because baki jo worldly cheeze hain we know ki hamare sath kuch nahi jaane wala hai You you know you can be a billionaire over here. You can take one cent with you. Yeah, he but <laughs> but yeah. the spiritual thing does yeah. go with you. Yeah. That's what he's telling you. So our effort should be to gain something spiritually higher because then we can be on a, that path. Mm -hmm. So you know, baki jo choti moti chiza hai, yeah, all those things also come from the previous life only. But the human birth is because humans are the only one who question <coughs> hey, where I come come from, what is my origin, where am I going, mm. you know. Animals don't think about it; they have programmed life, mm. you know. So that's what you know. Focus is that spiritually what, and then he also says that there are people, there are two kind. He divides into two. I'm regressing a little bit, but I think because that's not there. No, but we're we're good that yeah. you explain. Yeah. So then he says that there are two kinds of people. One wants worldly stuff, okay, huh. and and so that if you they can do be good people, they are not doing any harm to anybody, but yeah. they are their attention is on the worldly stuff still. So फिर वो लोग वो यज्ञ करेंगे भी भगवान मुझे ये दे दे वो दे दे All that you will gain, and then you will. You swarg mein bhi jaoge. Swarg mein it's a better place, okay? It's a vacation right. place where you don't have all these pains of this body and this and that. You will enjoy. Then you come back on earth again, okay? So that it's like a vacation, but it's a wasted time for from that perspective. Give it vacation mein bhi chale gaye. Other people are saying, no, I don't care about the world. Is I want that Brahman, moksha, moksha. so then when they are going on that path when they are born again they are born in the family of pure uh, yogis and wise and pure and those kind of people so in that case they will very quickly the, the environment will be such that they will circumstances will be such they will very quickly get into it and they will have the enough enthusiasm to continue on that path that's what he, he previous verses he was saying and then in this one he is just explaining that that what happens even if from the worldly perspective it looks like bad circumstances but in spite of himself it helplessly of ashaha he will be going in that direction so sometimes you know like we lose our memory of our past in the big you know lot of yogis and all they remember finally their previous life 
तो वो बच्चे को भी कंफ्यूजन हो जाता है कि मुझे हो क्या रहा है एंड द रीजन आई एम सेइंग दैट दैट हुएवर इज रेड द ऑटोबायोग्राफी ऑफ योगी ही वाज वेरी कंफ्यूज इन द बिगिनिंग कि मैं बिकॉज़ ही हैड ऑल दी सिद्धिस इवन विद साई बाबा इट्स द सेम ट्रूथ पुत्तपार्टी साई बाबा ही हैड ऑल द सिद्धिस फ्रॉम एंड ही मिरेकल्स वुड हैपन अराउंड देम एंड ऑल दैट एंड दे डिडंट नो व्हाट वाज हैपनिंग अंटिल देयर ऑल द गुरुज केम एंड गाइडेड देम then they got their memories back and and they got into the path you know so and and in autobiography of yogi i think he challenged his brother that i'm going to take this trip god is going to help me and and the, he said god is going to give you food and and he he went without anything and then he showed him he, everybody took care of him on the way yeah. he got food he got everything so those are the kind of things uh, you know in these verses i see thank you so you got much. it Yeah, I I did. Yeah, thank you, yeah. and thank you everybody else for putting. No, it's good the, revision for us. <laughs> I'm in the same boat, much lower deck, so I enjoy when she explains. Okay. So, Shiva Babi, after, after observing, huh? after observing this philosophical truth, Lord Krishna is naturally tempted to express the glory of meditation, yoga. He says, one who has even the desire to con- know control. yoga he passes beyond the vedic ritual vedic ritual and it says uh, the one who has even the desire to know control is yogi jisko bolte hai na yogi the mm-hmm. one who is practicing Spiritual. yoga but mm-hmm. here the yoga he means by the meditation yeah in this mm-hmm. particular paragraph ha huh? not the exercise part no not the exercise part that's just a very small one eighth part of the whole thing mm-hmm. according to sankara the term shabd brahman this is again shabd brahman used here denotes the words of the veda so this is shabd brahman means words when in let's the finish this whole thing yeah. and then i will explain because there is a shabd brahman is also om but okay. uh, that's one meaning and he there are two three meanings here and he's going to open it up when you read the whole thing mm. wherein the term veda denotes only the ritualistic portion therefore the acharya commenting upon the portion says that such an individual goes beyond all the charms for the promised fruits of the vedika rituals so so just to uh, before we go further i just wanted to say that in vedas majority of the part is all the worldly things how to gain the worldly things you know um, all the rituals etc rituals etc to gain the worldly uh, what you say uh, objects and you know putra kameshti yagya and you know Rain. worldly fruits <laughs> huh? worldly fruits yes. fruits mm-hmm. because because people are not all of them are like spiritually inclined so what what veda they have all that but they are very smart also they say ki theek hai agar aapko ye chahiye sab kuch to aise aise yagya karo ji to usme tum ye ye niyam follow karo tum tumko vrat karna padega tumko nahana padega tumko ye nahi karna to jab insaan wo sab karna shuru karte to already discipline ho raha hai wo so there is some hidden agenda of the rishis in there yeah, yeah. ki ki while doing that all of a sudden then sab kuch tumko mil jaye uske baad bhi tum bolta hai kuch to missing hai yaar you know hum log ko lagta hai na aisa ki kuch to missing hai fir wo tab tak uski body discipline ho gayi hai aur wo thoda sa connection ho gaya usko upar wale se fir he can go on that path but the majority of that is that part. so that's what is happening this may be rightly considered as a commentary rather too labor labored although its implications are indeed only too true one who has warped his mind in the practice of self control study and meditation in the past could not have any more fascination for the material wealth or the sensuous life <laughs> however <laughs> celestial they might be even if this interpretation fits in with the context we must admit that the term has been labored by the teacher of the advaita philosophy so there's yeah advaita philosophy because here he's saying he goes beyond it mean he goes beyond the charms of worldly things and whatever the ritualistic part of veda is that's one meaning and then now he's going to do the second one in the tradition of the upanishads sabra brahma shabda brahman shabda brahman is expounded as the sacred mantra om like that's what said. we are doing in mandukya yeah. upanishad yeah This interpretation seems to fall in line with the traditional Hindu s- scriptures. In short, in the context of the discourses, the Lord wants to glorify the path of meditation 
more than the path of action and worship. And therefore, he says herein, even the inquirer in the path of meditation goes beyond the infinite fruits no, no, of finite. worship. Finite fruits of Oh, I beg your pardon. Mm. He says herein, mm. even the inquirer in the path of meditation goes beyond the infinite, no. infinite. <laughs> no, no, finite. It's finite. Because oh, it will make a lot of finite difference. And it will make a lot of yeah, difference. I'm so sorry. You know then why? Because you want the infinite. That's yeah. why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. The finite ko infinite. Pura aska meaning hi badal di. Exactly. Yeah. So that's very much. That's the life se aaya aapko. I know. The infinite ko pakde hoa hai. Which is good. That's good. Yeah. So sorry. He says herein, even the inquirer in the path of meditation goes beyond the finite fruits of worshipping Om. The Sabra Brahma. Brahma. Yeah. Yeah. So, so here, because whoever was there from the very beginning in Om, they have those four different <coughs> parts, they call it. Yeah. Right? So one is awaking and sleeping and, and deep sleep, and then yeah. something beyond that moksha part or Turiya state or Brahman, which gives uh, substratum for all these three. That's what it is, right? So he's saying that it's maybe the hour that if you want to worldly things, then you give them to the Om ke a pe tum and agar, if you want all the Siddhis and everything, then you give them to the Ma. They have divided it all in it. So he's saying that the one who is striving such goes beyond, meaning he goes into that Turiya state. He goes beyond the finite, because Om can give you everything. You know, the practice of Om can give you everything. But tumara dhyan kaan pe hai? So that's why they always say that when you are chanting Om, once you understand Mandukya, the main part of Om is the silence in between the two Oms. Yeah. yeah, that's the most important part. So it's telling you that how the sound is coming, rising from that silence, and then it's disappearing in that silence. And... Uh, Mm. And that's how they say, like, when you are advanced, then you put let, less emphasis on a, u, mm. and put more um, emphasis on ma, and silence. Right, right. That's exactly right. That's, uh, now yeah. it makes sense, sense why they say Why that. they are saying that. Mm. So now you know. Now because this is in mm. Mantukya Upanishad, the 12 mantras that they have. So the explanation is that. So now he's saying, be, goes beyond Shabda Brahman. Beyond is that Turiya state. Mm. That's what. So,